Welcome to Wine Goggles discussion of the finest white wine South Africa has ever produced. It's the De Wetzel Batelier Chardonnay. Um, it's grown on De Wetzel in Robertson by the incomparable Dani De Wet. He doesn't do the growing himself. Um, that's left up to the limestone rich soils of Robertson. And this wine really has a very interesting story because um, it's part of the legendary smuggling Chardonnay saga in the early 80s when Jan Boeran Kuntzia was over in Burgundy working in the Clos de Mouge and without at that stage Chardonnay wasn't allowed to be cultivated in South Africa so Jan Boeran Kuntzia was over there he cut some vines shipped them across to South Africa Don and Devet planted them on his farm in Robertson in the rich limestone soils and um, the vines are still flourishing to this day he planted them in the mid 80s and still to this day producing excellent Chardonnay. It's um, the flagship wine from De Wetzel, and it is the Batelier named after the great African eagle. Now, what makes this wine so, so special for me, apart from the normal intrinsics of the Batelier, is the fact that it's the 209 vintage. And um, I spoke to Dania a while back, and he reckons that of all the vintages he's had at De Wetzel, 209 for Chardonnay is the best. And so, if I'm going to have a good Batelier, it's going to be 209. I must say, I've had a sneak preview before, so I can tell you it really is excellent. And the first thing I want you to have a look at is, is this color. Um, some of the normal Batelier characteristics jump out at you. We take a sniff. There's a nuttiness and a citrus and almost like a lanolin waxiness on the wine. But um, the, there's greenish you you find in this specific Chardonnay to me is all Batelier. Let's so just give it a bit of a swirl, release those lovely aromas. Could do with a bit of decanting, don't be shy to decant your white wines. But I'm getting everything here, I'm getting that um, pear drop, lanolin, honey, grilled nuts I was talking about. Aged in wood but the wood is not there, it's, you can't taste the wood, it's just the, the pure structure which is absolutely divine. And You know, when you sip a wine like this, you kind of know why we drink wine. It sort of transports you to a better place. And um, knowing the farm and the vineyards, I can actually see those fish eagles coming over the Bria River, looking down on those rich limestone soils, Danny driving around in his Prado. Um, but let's not get romantic about that. It's just, it's an exceedingly sophisticated, complex, rich wine. Um, it should have age restriction, 4 to 21 at least. People younger than 21 will never appreciate a wine of this complexity. It's got concentrations of, of pear, honeycomb, um, and it's got a length longer than a Joel Stransky dropkick. I wouldn't serve it too cold, and I would also not, not be shy to serve it with some red meats. It really is excellent and it, it transports you not only to to um, the fantastic estate of De Wetzelf in Robertson but also to Burgundy. Um, down south, southway, down Santané with those gravelly limestone soils out there. A big rich wine but it's got that magnificent freshness and it's got the things that make the world just a better place to be and that's why we drink wine. Batelier, one of the finest white wines South Africa has ever made, 209 vintage, it's drinking beautifully now, but I tell you what, put it away for five or six years, it's not going to take you out of this world, it's going to take you to another planet. Cheers.